Now I want to talk about MongoDB utilities, such as Mongo export, Mongo import, Mongo dump and Mongo restore. Those utilities are separate applications and then can be used for data management in MongoDB. Mongo export is used to export specific data from certain collection. Mongo import is used to import data into MongoDB database. Mongo dump creates dump from the MongoDB database. And Mongo restore is used to restore data from the MongoDB dump. Let me show you Mongo export and Mongo dump in action. In order to demonstrate this, I will use terminal window. Please note that those utilities are separate applications and you don't need to open Mongo shell in order to use them. I'll go to the terminal and change directory to the desktop. Then I'll use Mongo export utility, Mongo export, and now I'll pass several arguments to it. Dash D specifies name of the database, in our case it is forum. Dash C name of the collection, it is POS. And dash O specifies name of the file where this export data will be written to. And name of the file will be just pos.txt. And let's execute this command. Enter. And here you will see result. This application was successfully connected to localhost and has exported 5 records. Let's open up this newly created pos.txt file. Double click on it. And here you will see contents from the pos collection. And you see our documents. You may notice that instead of object ID, dollar sign or ID is used to represent object ID type. Question for you. How do you think why this format is used here? Answer is simple. Now this document was exported as JSON object, not as extended JSON object. And you see that now this document fully conforms to JSON standard. Let me close this file. Let's now use Mongo dump utility that will create dump of the entire database. Just Mongo dump and enter. And you see that two collections were automatically dumped. admin.system.version and forum.pos. And you see that on the desktop new folder called dump was created. Let's open up this folder. And you will see here two folders, admin and forum. Let me expand forum. And you see here pos.bson file and pos.metadata.json. And if I'll expand admin database, I'll see similar structure – bison file and metadata.json file. What is stored in those files? In the bison file, data from the collection is stored in the bison format, in the binary format. And metadata.json file contains information about indexes. Let's try to open this bison file. And I'll use special utility for this, called hex dump. Let me open new terminal window. New window. Let me make it larger. Then clear. Then cd to desktop. Slash dump. Slash forum. I'm moving to this folder. This one. Enter. And here I'll use hex dump utility and pass name of the file called pos.bison. Pos.bison. Enter. And here you will see binary data from the bison file. Here it is. And this output is just sequence of the ASCII codes in the hexadecimal format. Remember that we have discussed this in the previous lectures. Let me add here one more option. Dash capital C and enter. And here on the right you'll see attempt to parse this sequence of the ASCII codes. And you can read some parts of our documents. What is the best way to learn JavaScript from the ground up and so on. And now you already know that those ASCII codes 
contain also information about values types. For example, here you see title and that is a string and here this 02 represents string value type and so on. That is the BSON format. Ok, let's move on and in the next lecture let's discuss MongoDB replica sets. See you there. Bye-bye.